welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new I'm so happy that you have joined me today as you can tell by the title today I'm going to be doing a collaboration with the beautiful and wonderful Valerie Dyson I decided to do the full face of makeup one color video so let's see how that goes I don't know what color she chose and she doesn't know the color that I chose so I'm really excited to see her video I'll go ahead and link her channel down in the description so go check her out I'll also leave her Instagram so you can show her some love there she's really sweet and supportive so please go show her some love to her channel so enough of me talking now and let's get straight to the video this is supposed to be a full face of one color makeup um, I know full face means like the powder and foundation and all that too. Um, I'm not going to go all that too, all out on that. What? Okay. I do already have my base. I did moisturize. I primed. I have my foundation and my powder. If you are interested in seeing the products that I use, I always list them in the description, mentioned or not. So check that out if you are interested. So I'm pretty sure you already know the color that I chose and it is purple. So we're going to be playing with purples. All right. So let's see how this goes. I haven't practiced at all. I look through all the purple makeup that I have and I kind of have an idea what I want to do but let's just get to it. I am going to prime my eye first with the Red One Concealer and this I'm going to apply to the top part of my eyelid and just blend that with my finger and the rest of my eye I'm going to use this NYX lingerie and back to the bone. Place that towards more of the bottom and blend that. And then, I almost forgot that I'm going to be using tape for my eyes to get a sharp, like, clean line. Taking my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, I'm going to be going in with this purple right here first for the crease. I'm going to slowly begin tapping it onto that crease. So I tap it first and then I begin to blend. blended to my satisfaction I'm going to go in with this darker purple and I'm placing that to my outer corners to deepen up that color and my outer edges I'm going in with a little bit of that first shade just a little bit to blend that darker purple together now that I have those two shades on I'm going to take a clean small brush just to kind of blend it on top so that right here there's like no harsh lines just want to blend it out a little bit no extra product just a clean brush I'm just going to be applying this NYX glitter primer with a concealer brush I like to apply this directly onto the brush like that a tiny bit and we're going to like kind of cut the crease but without that extra step of the concealer just with the primer next I'm taking my Juvia's Place Magic Mini palette and going in with the shade Faso it is so gorgeous that same brush I just kind of wiped it off I place that right on top of where I put that primer After that, just kind of blend in that dark purple into that shimmery purple we just used. I don't have any extra product on this brush, it's just whatever's left over. For highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. And look at how beautiful those highlighters are. Of course, I'm using this purple one up here, which is called Spectra. Pop it onto the brow bone. And inner corner let's see I want plenty of this so let's get a little bit more let's see it glowing do you guys see that I don't know if it's capturing it on camera but that is so gorgeous now I'm just going to go ahead and take off those tapes usually I would do a winged eyeliner with my black eyeliner but since I don't have a purple eyeliner and I don't want to ruin this beautifulness already by trying to make one with this kind of brush 
I think I'm satisfied with this, but I will take this and clean up like any like maybe small little messes that I might have made. And I'll also be using this for my lower lash line. I'm going back with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm going to use this towards the inner part of my eye and this towards more the outer part of that lower lash line. Here's the darker shade. Meet it up with that wing that we have there. And then blend it into the lighter shade. I'm going to get that clean brush that I used to blend the top part, not to just blend the lower part. Just lightly tap it, touch it, so you can kind of blend that out. Next, I'm just going to fix my eyebrows, and I usually don't fill them in. I was thinking maybe for this one, I should fill them in, but now that I have my eyes done, I don't feel like I want to fill them in, so I'm just going to comb them out or brush them out. Then next, I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes. Now I don't have any purple mascara. I know ColourPop has beautiful colored mascaras, but I don't have any in my possession. So I'm going to try something on my own. I don't know if it's going to work. I do have this white like um, lash primer. So it's white, did I already say that? It's a white lash primer. I'm going to put this on my eyelashes, then kind of before it dries, um, take my finger. I think I'm gonna be using this one and like tap it on. I haven't tried this ever. I don't know if anyone has, I don't know if it works. We're going to see right now. Eyeshadow. Is it working? Kind of colored it. Kind of. I don't think this is gonna work. Um <laughs> that doesn't look bad, does it? That looks hmm. I don't know. Moments like these that I wish I had a colored mascara, but I don't. It didn't turn out that bad. I did the same to my lower lash line. Um, my lower lash, like my lower lashes. Um, I did have quite a bit of fallout because I was just tapping it like this. But um, it's fine. I just like wipe it off with the brush. All right. So now let's finish the face. Um, sorry about the lighting. Uh, we're accommodating ourselves in our new place, myself and Victor. Um, I'm using like all natural lighting right now. I'm in front of a window. It's making me look all types of like the shadows are weird. So please excuse that. I usually do bronzer and blush before I do the eyes, but because I wanted to see what I did with the eyes, I left that for later. I am going to be using purples for my bronzer and blush. I don't know how it's going to look. I'm going to be taking first the Juvia's Play Zulu palette. It has a really pretty big purple right here that I can use as all my contouring. I hope it doesn't come out too harsh. That's what I'm afraid of. Dip it in a little bit and just do it like I would normally do my contour. I'm so afraid for this. Um, oh, oh, that's purple. It looks like I'm like getting cut. But it's purple, not red. This is weird. Okay. And I got a little bit, guys. Oh my gosh! That looks so bad. Okay. I'm gonna have to like really work and blend this. It looks more harsh on camera than on person. I'm gonna take a little bit, put it like up here on my temples, because I contour that as well. <laughs> I'm putting like very little. I look like so weird right now. Blend that. With the B Bea GoPro palette, and it has a really pretty, like purplish, it's not too dark, it's called Autumn. So, I'm going to take this on my um, this finger, my pointer finger. I'm going to get a little bit of that. I'm gonna place it like, like that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> what am I doing? going so well all right and then just with the clean brush like this um just work it like blush oh no oh no oh my gosh i look like a freaking clown you know what i think it's gonna be it's gonna blend better with my finger so okay So I try to blend it as best as I 
can with my finger. I try to fix the contour also. This side is still coming out like really, really harsh, like this right here. Oh, I tried my best. It's not that bad, actually. I mean, it's purple. It's like, whoa. Uh, I wouldn't wear purple blush on the a daily, but not too bad. I'm going in with the Aurora Glow Kit, that same purple highlight that I use for my brow bone and inner corner. I'm going to use plain tip this because it's really, really pretty onto my cheekbone. Oh, you know what I look like? I'm reminding myself of like an alien. I don't know why. Am I reminding you guys of an alien? Am I at least a pretty alien? <laughs> Try my best, guys. This is definitely a challenge. So I put plenty of that on. Why not just pop on some to the tip of my nose? I usually don't highlight my nose like this heavily. Mm, Cupid's bow. And then finally lips. I always have to moisturize, of course. And for lips, for the color, I'm going to be using this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and Run the World. This one I mentioned in a haul that I did like way back when. I also mentioned it in my spring favorites lip products. This is going to pull the whole look together, I'm hoping. <laughs> From the window because the sun the way it was hitting me it was just it was like blinding my eyes and it was also creating these like weird shadows on my face but this is the completed look and actually I am really happy with how it looks the purple blush and contour was definitely the most challenging but I still really like how it came out you can see like that purple highlight it's just like oh gorgeous and the lips and everything I'm obsessed with the eyes Definitely I can wear this eye, not with the purple contour or blush, but I am loving this look. Thank you so much Valerie for doing this collab with me and this was a wonderful idea. I had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely also don't forget to check out Valerie's video. I'm super excited to see what color she chose and I'm really happy that you guys have joined us in this collab and this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already and I'll talk to you guys soon.